How to use Slack for community building. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll be talking about Slack. And with Slack, we can actually go ahead and start our own community and build it from scratch. Now, if you're familiar with Discord, it's almost the same. It's just going to be more professional. You could say Discord is, you know, for less professional things. You would want to create communities for gaming and all of that, those things. But for Slack, you can actually go ahead and create your own community for businesses and so much more. Now, there's going to be a lot of futures to cover when it comes to Slack and, you know, building your communities. And there's going to be a lot of things that we actually can do. Uh, it's going to look a lot like this, where you can see we have our workspace. We can invite plenty of people here and we can have plenty of channels. Each channel is going to be for a specific topic where people can discuss that topic and so on so we have a lot of, of a lot of tools as you can see so you can just go ahead visit slack.com to get started and we can just discuss the pricing real quick before we get started because it's not always for free uh, it does include a free plan which is going to be completely for free forever but you are going to have limited um limited functions when it comes to the free plan so just feel free to go to this page compare the plans that are um available and see which one suits you and your business best but now that i have just said all of this we can just go ahead and get started with slack go to slack.com get started and then just sign up for free and once you sign up you should go ahead and uh, follow the steps that i will show you once i'm done signing up myself great so once you actually sign up and create your account and just use your email you can just go ahead and get started right off the bat and create your workspace. Workspace is going to be the entire community. So uh, it's going to include the channels, the voice, uh, everything. Everything is going to be included within the actual workspace. So just click on create a workspace. And this should load up and it shouldn't take too long for it to take us to the next step, which is actual creation of the workspace. So here... What's the name of the, your company or team? Here you would obviously want to specify that. So I'm just going to be naming it um, testing company. This is just going to be for the sake of the video, obviously. So I'm just going to be uh, doing a lot of testing stuff here. So let anyone with uh, at uh, .com email join this workspace. I'm just going to leave this off because this is, the, this is you know, the actual uh companies at i'm just going to leave this off but if 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 it's your company's title or you know at and you would want uh this function to be on you can just keep it on if you want to i'm going to go ahead and click on next now and this is going to take us to the next step which is going to be adding your name and profile picture i'm just going to do this um uh, you know basic stuff if i find anything that is you know actual um maybe need some explanation i'll get back to you but when it comes to name and profile picture i believe you get to the idea great now this is a very important step which is going to be adding the people that you want in your workspace now you have a few methods to do so you can actually go ahead and add them from google contacts if you have this you can go ahead and actually add them by email you can just go ahead enter their email separate them by comma and you can just go ahead and add their emails. Or lastly, which is the one that I prefer, if you have a group chat with your, you know, partners, so business co-workers, all of those things, just copy the invite link, send it to the group chat, and they can just join via the link, which is going to be the easiest way. For the time being, I'm not really going to be adding anyone, so I'm just going to skip this step. So what's your team working on right now? You can just go ahead and actually add them. I believe this is just going to be an actual channel, if I'm not mistaken. So let me just go ahead and do um, YouTube video. You can see channels. Yes, it's going to be a channel. So just make sure you enter an actual channel here that is going to be related to something that you're working on. So for example, instead of YouTube video, um, YouTube channel. So this is going to be the general channel for the, the actual YouTube channel. So I'm just going to click on next. And now you're going to select whether you want to actually upgrade or com continue with free the version. I'm just going to start uh, with the free version and move on to the next step. Now here they're going to just show you around a little bit. I'm just going to 
you know let that uh skip that i mean and we are going to be discussing exactly what you have here so again i'm just going to say this if you're familiar with discord it's almost the same we have channels here which is going to be um some text channels where we can actually discuss a few topics uh so we have by default we have the general um channel here which is going to be general chat and you can just go ahead and start messaging people in here you have the random channel for some reason they have created a random channel so i'm just going to probably delete this in a sec and then we have the youtube channel channel which we have just created uh, and we can just feel free to create more channels depending on exactly what the topics that we want to add in the actual channels so we just go to add channel for example create a new channel and then just give it a name let's just use the one that is you know as we can see plan budgets and just click on next and then you can just choose whether it's going to be public or private where you can just have only specific people read and text in that specific channel i'm going to leave it as public and click on create so now we have our um, channel here here is going to be uh adding people but i'm just going to automatically add anyone who joins the actual workspace so i'm just going to leave this on click on save and i, I highly recommend that you always keep this on unless you just want to have limited access to that channel click on save and you should be good to go with your channel now you can actually go ahead and do more stuff here for example we have the list of all the co-workers that you have in the workspace you have yourself here and you, you can just see the uh, name and images of each individual co-worker and if you have any co-workers here you can actually go ahead and start a direct message with them where you can just chat privately uh, about anything that you actually want which is actually great now uh, another thing that you can actually go ahead and do you can customize the entire workspace with just go into the actual workspace name click on it and then just go to preferences here you can just go ahead and set up a lot of things i'm not going to cover everything that you can actually set up in here but you can go for example to navigation you can add automations to the left you can go to huddles which are basically voice chats uh, that you can actually add canvases i'm not going to add them because i believe you actually need to upgrade to use them and so on you can go to themes, language, and region, and you can have a lot of things that you actually feel free to customize. So take the time to go through all of these and just, you know, customize this whole entire uh, workspace to your liking. Now, what about huddles that we just talked about? I just created this um, channel. I just called it huddles. It's going to be exactly like any other channel. It's not any different. So you can actually do the same with any other channel. Now, with huddles, you can just go ahead to the top right and click on start a huddle. And here you can just see that we have our um, voice chat started. And we can actually go ahead and anyone who actually has access to this channel can join. And you can just go ahead and start uh, your voice chat with your co-workers this way. Now, I'm just going to leave and... Um, so yeah we have more settings for huddles by the way if we just go to any channel go to view view channel details go to settings we can see here uh, members can start and join huddles in this channel or you can just make it so that members can't start or join huddles um we have also automations that we can talk about so you can actually have some of these integrations added but we can also go to the workflow builder which is going to add some automations for us which is going to be a little bit nice touch for our community so here we can just go to templates and within the templates we have a few here so we can actually go ahead and start a wor a warm welcome for new team members so you can just send um, a welcome message to people who are just joined and you have more stuff here that you can just choose from or if you would uh, prefer to start from scratch you can also do so you can just set up a trigger and a um, value or what happens after the trigger happens and you can just go ahead and create your automations uh, right from here so okay so i believe yeah as you can see creating and publishing workflows is only available on a paid 
plan so you can't really use that on the free plan again like I said, you do get a lot of value out of the free plan, but sometimes, you know, there are going to be some limits to that and you can always just feel free to upgrade if you feel like uh, these limitations, you know, you don't really like them and you want to upgrade. So now I kind of showed you exactly what you need to know as a beginner and how to get started with creating your very own community in here. So you can just go ahead, start adding your messages in each channel. You can just talk to your co-workers in here, share messages, share files, share um, some images and media, completely up to you. So I hope that you have liked this video and found it to be helpful. And thanks for watching.